soon be entering ZTR's atmosphere. The bounty for this mission does not seem appropriate. Uploading data. So, you've accessed a network station. Well done, Samus. I have reviewed your vital signs and video log from the data you uploaded. I've run a full analysis, but I cannot account for why you lost consciousness. My readings indicate dramatic physical changes in you. Whatever caused these changes seems to have stripped you of most abilities. You might call it physical amnesia. That brings me to your assailant. I am checking the Federation database against your video log. It appears to have been a chozo. The attacker's identity is not yet clear. I have determined that you are somewhere within the depths of ZDR. Your top priority should be to return to your ship on the surface. This situation is precarious. Trust your instincts as you navigate upward. This planet appears to consist of multiple areas shuttles, elevators, and other modes of transport connect them. Keep an eye out for ways to reach the surface. The ship's location is marked on your global map. Check it for yourself. You may encounter pop 
pockets of low temperature, your Metroid DNA renders you vulnerable to such environments. Spending time in cold areas will be harmful to you. There are many such cold areas scattered underground. Do not enter them with your basic power suit. One final thing. Underground interference is preventing radio transmissions. Check in with me at any network stations you find. Uploading data. Both you encountered were clearly trying to capture you. They may have been hacked. If so, it's reasonable to assume all Emmy will be hostile. Emmy send out a pulse to detect vibrations in the air within a certain range. Essentially, they can hear you. Upon detecting vibrations, an Emmy enters surveillance mode to track their source. Stay out of its line of sight when this happens. Otherwise, the danger to you increases dramatically. An Emmy that has seen you will begin pursuit. Part of the pursuit protocol is to seal the Emmy's own exits. You will be trapped inside to survive. You must leave its range of pursuit. Evade the Emmy and it will disengage. This will also unseal the exits. An Emmy never leaves its assigned zone. Their control system must permit them to operate only within that range. I estimate a 99% probability of death if an enemy captures you. There may be a very small opportunity to escape, but exploiting this window will be virtually impossible. The enemy are immune to your current weapons. You lack the unique energy used to defeat the first enemy. Your only option now is to evade capture and find an exit. Your highest priority in an enemy zone should be simply to survive. There was no record of your assailant in the Federation database. However, there are records of a chosen warrior tribe. There is a strong possibility that you are connected. You have seen the warrior tribe's architecture and artifacts. 
artifacts on this planet, I conclude that this was one of their settlements. But why would someone leave you here and send the Emmy after you? The footage of the ex-parasite may have been staged to lure you in. The situation remains unclear, but your priority hasn't changed. You must return to the ship. You have activated the madness supply system that has restored power to the closed thermal doors. Seek them out to proceed. Continue to search for the unique energy you employed against the first Emmy. It is the only way you can confront them. Unfortunately, this energy is limited. You may have noticed it dissipating after an Emmy is destroyed. There are six remaining Emmy hunting you. You have no means to confront them. Remember that. Uploading data. TPR appears to be powered by thermal energy. Magma is pumped from the planet's interior and routed from there. I have located the central routing system for the magma. It is here in Cataris. Samus, your current suit cannot protect you as you explore Cataris. The extreme heat of the lava is too much for it. Under no circumstances should you enter high temperature areas. I know the shuttle somewhere above here. Use it to find a path forward. There is one other thing to discuss. It is your new Phantom Cloak ability. The Phantom Cloak prevents the Emmy from detecting you. Thus far, your only option was to run. Now, bypassing them is also an option. Use this to reach your objective. Note that using the Phantom Cloak severely decreases your mobility, and direct contact with an Emmy will still result in capture. It is up to you whether to hold your position. Just be aware of your surroundings. The Phantom Cloak is useless once an enemy sees you. You will need to evade capture until it gives up pursuit. The Phantom Cloak can remain active after your aim has been depleted. It will consume your life energy instead. Consider it a desperate measure. Remember, it cannot drain your energy down to nothing. Judicious use of this technique will improve your probability of survival.
uploading data. ME stands for Extra Planetary Multiform Mobile Identifier. It can procedurally modify and enhance its own capabilities. Its ability to configure itself to fit into narrow spaces is a standard feature. Any ME you encounter will likely do so as it pursues you. You are not capable of destroying their armor plating. This would be true even at your full capabilities. You are faced with overwhelming power. Accept your helplessness. Study each ME carefully and use the Phantom Cloak to advance. There are risks even here. The Phantom Cloak reduces your mobility and consumes more AN when you move or shoot. It is still your best chance at survival. Do not hesitate to destroy an ME whenever you discover more unique energy. This was not one of your original priorities. However, I see no other way to accomplish your goal. These existential threats cannot be sanctioned. Data. This area, Dyerin, appears to be a biological research laboratory. You have already reactivated one generator in this area. There is another sector above you, still suffering from the blackout. Find the next generator and reactivate it. You are slowly recovering your abilities. I have still not established what happened to you physically. Don't let your guard down. Your primary objective is to survive. Proceed with the utmost care. Uploading data. The lower levels of the 
schizophrenia are mostly submerged, you will need your gravity suit to operate there at full efficiency. Abilities such as the grapple beam or space jump will help you maneuver underwater to an extent. Find them as soon as possible. Anaman Henki Maradis, Pisalakuta Ili Zoha Hasana, Ilichoso Manfaragai Atasen Mamoris Ashka Berek, Ninu Gamara Neporien Lebat Balis Henniku, Hemsen Ili Tanumar Garbichoso Raham Hasana Mamoris Ili Maukin, Sahari Lin Ili Maukin, Pinoras Hasana Tarbilichoso. Uraidis y dos carodan y limazroe, mir muvit alar suradis me iliagar na lima, uramajar panta muvit os salal pura mazroe, kunijabari juntar talasabeques en holchanim, linkatalu ili uliris, sabalba, ashkar behek, hasari gale ubana dos elegar mir. Ninu barash nek ili ferun tar hadar. Les ninu kedar, ili mazro e mugi. Tanam tar bi hadar bunta, e iris dos eka ili gimel. Ashkar behek gabori dos balan ili mazro e dos ili tarin na lima hem satar. Kum bim bi kalki sakra, dos horek bura. Ninu mehirin ili zoha hasana. Bimura Gabara Ili Sahali, Toshuran Ili Mathroid. Kalmir Tostek, Ananakoden Mugi Akalai. Ashkar Behek, Hem Ili Maukin, Hasana Hasari, Anabalta Dosh Humahar Sanyan. 
y Tarina Lima. Les nuda cantos queren humajar corgangal turuta mazroet. Sabalba, juntalaris le shak sirugalin evak. En mugi la maitos coro humajar yoris me kohana. Aitar iligel su manu naloni ishka iliagar na lima. Mugi garama di eris les nido. Ilitari nalima megori le shakutanga. Ontar humajar gel su mugi barilin ilieris. Arek ebores ashkar behek elemeirisi dos karodanom. Ninu aros hakame, ninu mahar mejeni, dos tumema, ninu mahar yoris. Ishili mazroe, meili agar na lima. Habari bama mugi sarali, lina tamahar toshek. Nutili mazroe desborodo. Ili yoris dar ashkar behek, dora habar bados les maradan. Has. Bados les maradan, ashka urugal ata. Ili emai marjuma satari lin ashkar behek. Tamus arlan, feje jadoran. Minu jabar kumani jumdos, te volen ili mazroitim ishka nulis atama jarizbi. Data. Our soul, my friend, has explained much. We now know why we and me are pursuing you. Sam is Aaron, Raven beat more you here. He wants the Metroid DNA that exists only within you. I have confirmed that Quiet Rogue has deactivated all remaining enemy. You should now be able to reach the surface unthreatened. The route Quiet Rogue opened is in Berenia. Return there immediately. Samus, you are approaching the surface. This area, Gavarin, appears to be an underground forest. The enemy have been deactivated, but Ravenbeak still desires the Metroid DNA within you. I have reviewed the video log of your encounter after your arrival. You were no match for him then. You are no match for him now. It is true that you have recovered many of your combat abilities. However, my analysis suggests that you would not be a worthy adversary for him, not even at full power. One thing still eludes me. Why did Raven Beak spare you during that encounter? Something must have motivated him. 
Data. Sex have been released from their confinement. They have now scattered across the planet. This is no doubt the work of Raven Deep. His motives are still a mystery. But your Metroid DNA grants you immunity to the X parasites. You can even absorb them. Perhaps it was some kind of message. Regardless, the X are here. They are overrunning the planet. They must be destroyed. Hurry to your ship, Samus. I trust you will make it here safely. Data. This area, Frenia, appears to have been a sanctuary. The Machin conducted ceremonies and rituals here. Now it all lies in ruin. It was likely destroyed in the chaos following the X's arrival. That would match what Quiet Rogue said. They have turned it into a hive. I have also detected the presence of an unusually powerful X. Recall that the Emmy in this area could see through the rain and stun targets with an electric shock. My sensors indicate this Emmy has been reactivated. We can assume that Raven Beat is behind this too. Make good use of the Phantom Cloak and you should have nothing to fear. Be careful, Samus. Data. The X have spread across the entire planet. Assume all living organisms have by now been replaced by X. There is another problem you may have noticed. The temperature of ZDR has started to fall. I cannot say for certain if the X are to blame, but the drop in temperature is indisputable. The gravity suit should keep you insulated from the effect of low temperatures. Even so, beware the unexpected and proceed with caution. I have determined the reason for the planet's rapid cooling. Thermal energy is no longer being routed from Cataris. This area, Arteria, is located in the depths of the planet. Much of it will be frozen. Find a way to thaw any frozen doors and pools you encounter. The central control system you activated in Cataris is still operational. Some force must be physically blocking the routing of thermal energy. I suspect a powerful X is involved. You must annihilate it. Return here after solving the problem. The cooling has prevented you from exploring this area. There must be a vital ability hidden somewhere here.
Uploading data. Well done, Samus. You have stopped the planet from cooling. In addition, you have gained the screw attack ability. It will help you access previously unreachable places. You are far more combat ready than when you first arrived, but you are still not prepared to face Raven Deep. There is a very low probability of success in standing against him now. Uploading data. This area, Anubia, is on the planet's surface. You finally made it, Samus. There is still a problem. Destroying the planet will eliminate the X parasites. But Raven Beep is unlikely to sit idly by as this happens. He will try to escape once he detects the danger. Raven Beep's search for Metroid DNA poses a threat to the galaxy. He will never give up. The odds are still not in your favor, but you must end things here. I am searching for his location. Return here later for an update. Data. Samus, you have manifested a new power. The speed with which you siphon energy is undoubtedly Metroid in nature. The Metroid DNA inside you must have fully awakened, no doubt as a result of the many battles you have fought on this mission. This tremendous power is the last thing you require to confront Raven Beat. I have detected a fortress in the sky high above Anubia. He must be there. The time has come. Samus, fulfill your destiny.
loading data. It appears your Metroid DNA has caused you to become a Metroid. Ordinarily, this would have happened immediately after the DNA transplant. Your faux pas genes must have slowed down the process. They were the only tribe capable of controlling the Metroids. Though you possess their DNA, you are not a faux pas. Your physical prowess suggests that you must also possess Machin DNA. Metroids are programmed to identify Machin as enemies. This suggests one thing to me. It is very probable that your metamorphosis occurred as a result of Raven Beak's attack. His presence awakened the Metroid's killer instinct. Since then, your metamorphosis has accelerated. It can no longer be controlled. You are now a Metroid, Samus Aran. Your very existence poses a great threat to the galaxy. However, there is no need to fear. You can still contribute to galactic peace. You need only use your new powers correctly. You have followed my instructions faithfully so far. Continue to do so. It's that simple. I consider your performance here on ZDR highly satisfactory, as I hope. It has even awakened your Metroid powers. I was right to let you live during our first encounter. That one glimpse you showed told me everything. Submit and offer up your power. My plan is the only way to bring order to the galaxy. Fulfill your destiny, Samus. This is an order. Disobedience will not be tolerated.